Uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. How is the whole awards whirlwind, shall we say? It's quite a unique experience during awards season with a film. How's it been? It's like being in a whirlwind. Yeah. I, I've not been in one, but well, I have now, but uh, metaphorically, yeah. It, it, uh, yes, it is, um, it is quite a thing. It's quite daunting and, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, exciting. Um, and uh, for the film, I think, really, for, for, for the zone of interest, because it's not, it's not a film that I think any of us thought would be in this sort of, um, on this sort of stage, necessarily, given yeah. what it is and who's in it and the form of it and the style of it. And so it's kind of, yeah, it's really exciting to be in the, these conversations with BAFTA nominations and London film critics and, and the Oscar nominations. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, but it, but it is, yeah, it's, it is quite, um, it is a whirlwind, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jonathan is very particular about the films he wants to make and he spends a lot of time very precise. What's it like for you working with him and then seeing his vision come, come to life? Because sometimes it doesn't always happen that way. Um, no, it, it, do, it does happen the way you described it. It, is, it does take a long time and it is very rigorous and it is um, very organic and exploratory and uh, requires um, a lot of patience and persistence. And, uh, but it's, I mean, creatively, it's really exciting. It's challenging, um, but it's like, I, I mean, it sounds a bit of a cliche, but it is like good, good creatively challenging. So working, working out what the what the film is in the, I suppose, the writing pro period, the development, then physically making it, how to make it. I and mean, certainly on Zone, that was really complicated and challenging and like making this house and garden right next to Auschwitz yeah. in Poland and built, we bit, the set was built and that garden was grown for real and uh, shot in this very unusual way with 10 cameras simultaneously. So all kind of, it's always like you're breaking ground on methodology, which is challenging. And then editing that together in that way with all that footage. Um, but it's um, it's good. It's like creatively, you know, it's what you want to be doing because um, you know he, he's he's got a great virtuosity um, with his film language, and and the the ideas are interesting. So that's why that's why I want to that's why I wanted to make films and yeah yeah and it's i mean it's very that. cinematic i mean that's a bit of a cliche but in terms of now in this era of streaming and everything else, this is a film to see I in the cinemas so. how important was that for you guys hugely. that this was in the cinema yeah no seeing it in the cinema is hugely important Al almost like existentially so i almost there's a part of me that almost uh, or, or not almost doesn't want would love everyone to experience it um on the on the big screen visually and certainly in terms of the sound yeah. johnny byrne um, and Mika Levy, the composer, uh, 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 are nominated here uh, this evening. Um, so yeah, absolutely. I know any filmmaker would say that about their film, but I, but I really think that's the case. But I've got to say, the other films this year have, I think, present in the same way. You know, and um, uh, Past Lives, Poor Things, Anatomy of a Fool, um, All of Us Strangers. It feels like we've been Q&Aing the film a lot, and it, you can feel that the cinemas are full of people and and that that is how it should be experienced you know in the dark with other people looking up at a big screen ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys <laughs> hey you guys <laughs> hey that's what they all say hey you guys hey you guys